Hello everybody and welcome back to another video emphasizing the TI Inspire calculators uh, with Texas Instruments, a lot of the cool software and programming stuff that they do. In the last video we actually went ahead and installed the computer link software. We found that online at education.ti.com and um, we were searching for all the software and uh, kind of applications that come with TI Inspire. Um, we had uh, obviously the operating system itself, the computer link software, what we just installed. And in this video, we want to install the student software. If, if you bought your calculator, it should have likely came with a, a license number or kind of a key that allows you to use the student software on your own computer. And what this student software really is, is it's kind of like an emulator for your, for your calculator. You can kind of play with all the functions and things that your calculator would normally be able to do, and you can see it on your own computer, you can type with your own keyboard, and uh, lots of really cool other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here. Uh, I, I notice, and I'm sure you noticed in the last tutorial, we saw the student software is available to download. We'll click on that, and uh, again, I want it for Windows. I'll use the EXE. And once we download this, we can go ahead and save the file. And that's going to take quite a while to download, but uh, I'll see you when, it's, when the download is complete. <laughs> okay, now it looks like the, the file has finished downloading. I'll click on this over here. Uh, go ahead and run the program. When it asks you to, it'll extract some files, and then of course we'll get uh, a nice little wizard again like we did in the last tutorial. This setup wizard would install the TI Inspire student software on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and, click, go ahead and click Next. Um, it'll ask for the folder. Uh, you can really put this anywhere you want, but typically TI always puts things in TI Education, which is a good spot for it. Now we can go ahead and install, and really just wait for this to go. It should copy a few files, update the properties, or whatever it, whatever it needs to do with settings and drivers, and then very, very quickly, I'm hoping you will find that your installation is complete. There we go. We can go ahead and click the finish button to exit, and uh, if we check this box, we can go ahead and launch the software right ahead. You'll see the splash screen go ahead and shine up, just like the computer link software did. It'll validate everything, um, and that's really all you need to do. If you have a license number, you should go ahead and type that in. Um, if you have a trial period, it'll go ahead and allow you to type that. And um, I'll let you go ahead and do this, and well, once things are all done complete for you, I'm going to fire up mine. I've got the TI Inspire CAS student software. You should be obviously installing whichever one is uh, corresponding to your calculator. The TI Inspire CAS is the one that I haven't already installed. And, um, well, you'll see this program and this window kind of pop up. And this is it. This is the student software. On the left-hand side, it gives you kind of a documents toolbox that allows you to play with the buttons on the calculator, or at least a kind of a digital version of it. Uh, you can switch over to the application things that you have open, um, and even do more with it. I'm going to resize this so we can do a little bit more. You can see the, the cursor over here works just fine. And if we can add a calculator, I think if we go into View up at the top here, you can see it in the form of the handheld. I'm going to need a bit more space for this. Okay, now you can see it. If I type in like 4 plus 4, we get 8. Or 4 squared, we get 16. And we're really just working with the calculator at this point. It is just an emulator. But the, uh, the thing that's important to mention, and I, I suppose I should have mentioned this beforehand, it, it's important that you download the thing that you need. Because you have the TI Inspire, and there is, of course, the TI Inspire CAS. So you should be looking for uh, the student software that is relevant to what you're working with, the CX CAS or just the regular uh, TI Inspire. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, we'll be working with the student software very, very soon in, in later videos. Thanks.